So today is a good day because I have some brand new information regarding the November update coming to FIFA 19. If you have a PC, it's already out, but if you have a console, you'll have to wait till next week. Uh, I'm going to give you the full details of this update, all the new faces that are coming so far, so I hope you do enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, hit the thumbs up button, let's get to 500 likes, and if you're new around here and you want to see my new faces compilation video next week, hit the subscribe button today and the notification bell, and you won't miss it. And Christmas is coming soon, so maybe buy yourself a real life ultimate team card of your favorite player or icon. I'm going to put the link in the description for you. So this is what you need to know about the new faces coming with the November update. On EA's website it says, coming with this title update are 50 new star heads, 48 for players and 2 for managers. These will be usable in game once a pair of server releases goes live, which is planned for shortly after the release of the title update on each platform. So currently the PC one's already sorted, the console one will be coming probably early next week. So this is the moment that you came for, right now I'm going to show you all the photos that I have of the new faces that are coming in this update. And I've also given credit to the people that have supplied the photos as well, so make sure you go and check them out and support them as well.
So those were the new player faces that are going to be coming with this November update. Uh, in terms of players like Lukaku, Aguero, Hazard, if they're not in today's video, they're not going to be updated because EA released an official list on their website. So basically whatever player you saw today is the updated list. So there's no Ryan Sessegnon. There's uh, no one outside of that list that's going to be coming in the November update. So there's no real point asking me. But in terms of manager faces, there is two new manager faces that are going to be coming with this update. And I think the first one is Slavisa Jokanovic, who is the Fulham manager. And then we have Neil Warnock, who is the Cardiff manager. So those two people are going to be in career mode now and normal kickoff, just whenever you use those teams, really. In this video, I wasn't able to do my usual 360 rotation for all the player faces because I'm waiting for the update to come out on my console next week. But next week, I'll do the 360 look so you guys can expect that video as well. So in terms of gameplay fixes, there has been a little bit of nerfing here and there. Uh, I'm going to read a few important things, but I'm not going to go into too much detail because you can check it out for yourself as well. But in terms of shooting, they've fixed a bit of the first time finesse shots. So you can see there with the before and after screenshots, before the update, the player had a pretty high success rate. But after the update, he's got a higher chance of missing these shots. So they also mentioned something in regards to defensive pressure in front of a striker. You can see with the before and after shots, in the before shot, you can see that the player had a fairly high chance of scoring. But in the second image there, he's had a lot more misses now as well. In terms of defensive pressure from behind, it says in situations where a shooting player was receiving pressure from the defense that were behind them, we identified that the impact of this pressure was having too much effect on the shooter, resulting in lower shooting success than expected. And you can see with the before and after shots that after the update, it looks a lot more cleaner. Um, the player is more accurate in the shots, probably scoring more goals as well, like they mentioned. And before the update, the ball was going all over the place. So they've improved that. There's also been a nerf to the near post shots. You can see when there's no pressure on you, before the update, there was a higher chance of missing. But in the after update screenshot, you can see that there's a very high chance of scoring. Uh, you have a very low chance of missing, so it's pretty accurate now. There's also been a few goalkeeper tweaks that make them less dumber. So if you want to pause the video, you can read them there. So pretty much that is all you need to know about the November update in a nutshell. Let me know what you think of the faces list and the gameplay fixes as well. Hopefully the gameplay does improve. Right now it's a bit of a shambles, but... In terms of the faces list, you know, I was expecting a few more faces from the La Liga, uh, but we didn't get them this time around. And if you need something else to watch, make sure you check out the video I did the other day. It's a pretty funny one, 11 stupid things in FIFA 19 career mode. If you hit the card right now, it'll take you to the video. If you want to help support the channel a little bit further, make sure you check out the career mode transfer guide. I'm going to be putting the faces list onto that guide as well. And if you want to buy some Christmas presents for yourself, check out the site where you can get some real life ultimate team cards. The links are going to be in the description for that. And if you want to watch another video, hit the thumbnail on your screen and I'll see you next time.